Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Tom Spark Reviews. Today we're going to be checking out a brand new VPN provider. I don't often have the pleasure of saying this uh, because VPN providers, they don't come out that often. Sometimes, you know, new ones do come out, but they're not really anything that special. Um, you know, I took a look at Quad VPN, for example, it's a new one, but I couldn't even get a refund. But, you know, this one is from a company I do trust a good amount. Today we're going to be checking out none other than malwarebytes vpn hey guys if you are new to the channel go ahead and check out my website vpntierless.com this website serves as kind of like an archive of all of my vpn reviews ranked by tiers you could click on the vpn to visit the website or the vpn website the number to visit the review on my youtube channel or you could even check out my other tier lists and including my favorite product page where i talk about some of my favorite products i use online day to day anyways back to the video now, if you've seen me on the channel before, you know that my most recommended antivirus or malware scanner is Malwarebytes. It's a solid company that makes solid applications for malware, very good pro model for the malware bytes um, uh, virus or anti-malware kind of scanner. It's really good program. So I saw that they had a VPN now and I was wondering, you know, is it as good as the antivirus malware scanner? Today, that's what we're gonna be finding out. One thing I do wanna mention though, guys, is that this one is a little bit pricey. It's um, $60 a year, and that's the only plan. I reached out to Malwarebytes. I am gonna be an affiliate for them, so if you click on the links down in the description down below, you decide to purchase Malwarebytes or another VPN provider, I'll make a small cutback, and it will help me continue to be able to fund products just like this one. Because Malwarebytes, while they did let me become an affiliate for their product, they didn't give me a discount or a free service to test out Malwarebytes. So I'm just going to have to eat the cookie in this one, guys, and pay 60 bucks, which is kind of a bummer. Um, you know, that is going to influence my pricing scheme because, you know, with most VPN providers, we do have the option to pay month to month. You're not gonna see this with Malwarebytes. It's annoying for me, just testing it, I have to pay 60 bucks. Normally that's like the price for a year, um, but that's not an option here. So I would like if the Malwarebytes team watches this, um, they you should include a monthly, six month, and that would be pretty good, and a 12 month plan. Um, maybe one month would be around 10 bucks, six months, $30, one month or one year, 60 bucks is a decent deal. 120 for two years isn't bad, although I think there should be a little bit of a price decrease here, maybe more around $100. Um, I do like actually there's a 60 day money back guarantee you can't see it up there there you go so that's actually quite good longer than most other VPN subscriptions I've ever seen so maybe I can actually get a refund after doing this review because we're not made of money here on the channel guys all right guys anyways let's move this back over here and let's go through the review so guys I seemingly bought it and it seems like the credit card order is processing but I couldn't find any email or anything from Malwarebytes. The page just kind of got fucked up and didn't load. So now I guess I'm gonna have to talk to customer support. I guess I'm gonna have to pause the video and come back later to see if I what happened here, guys. <sighs> Not the best start. All right, guys, literally just like 10 seconds after I stopped filming, wrapped up the studio, put everything away, I got an email that says, hey, Welcome to Malwarebytes Privacy. Here's your download. They give me an activation key and a download page that looks like this. So guys, we got the order and everything looks good. Let's go ahead and start it off. All right guys, so this is what it looks like. Starting off, we're gonna install it. Malwarebytes Privacy it's called, or Malwarebytes VPN. Okay, so there's a little logo, pretty nice. Here we go, get started. Nice, enter in your license key. So it's like ExpressVPN, you just enter in the key and you're good to go. You don't have to remember your password or anything. I'm gonna put that in there, it looks like we're good to go. Uh, 245 servers, that's not a ton, but it's a decent amount of countries. We got private with a flip of the switch, um, off and on, got it and got it. So, nice little tutorial, shows your actual IP down there, your private one. Uh, looking at the servers here, doesn't look like there's any option to favorite. Um, doesn't really look like there's any option to customize the layout of the server. So to look at, you know, um, the way they're presented. We don't see any stance on ping or anything like that. So overall kind of a minimalist um, location here. Doesn't look like we have any smart select either for servers. Um, so it doesn't look like they have any smart select. Let's go ahead and try connecting, see what it's like. Um, I think Malwarebytes is actually using WireGuard in terms of its connection or its main kind of protocol. 
At least that is what I was reading, I think. Yep, it's using WireGuard, which is quite cool. And now, do I think WireGuard's ready for full use as the main protocol of a VPN application? Well, not necessarily, but I think it's almost there. Um, we're seeing more and more VPN providers uh, implementing WireGuard into their applications, having WireGuard testing. Some VPN providers are like ExpressVPN are kind of developing their own protocols, which is interesting to see. This might be the first full VPN provider I've seen that's used WireGuard exclusively as its main um, kind of protocol. Going into the settings here, we see a little bit of settings with auto launch, auto connect, and we look into that advanced settings. Let's see what we could get. So we have dark mode. That's nice. Um, we don't really see that option too much on PC for some reason. We probably see that more on mobile um, and trust local devices. Besides that, though, we're not seeing a ton of settings, which is a little disappointing. I do really like this design, though. A nice design here. It looks actually a little bit different when you customize it from dark mode back to regular, I believe. Yeah, nice. They have a very good user interface with this one that's for sure a nice setup process but the downside is it does look like it's missing some of those features we like to look for with other vpn applications maybe in time they will improve and add more or maybe they're just trying to keep it as simple as possible similar to their malwarebytes scanner application which is very simple and kind of similar to how this one functions with VPN providers, of course, with the applications, as you guys have seen in the VPN Noob to Pro course, I do like to look for various things. For this application specifically, I do like how it has WireGuard support. It's one of the brand new protocols, very fast connection times, supposed to be fast connection or uh, fast download speeds, fast overall speeds, very good for mobile use, less battery usage and stuff like that. However, we don't see other protocols like OpenVPN and IkeV2 with support, which would be nice since those are more trusted and audited and verified protocols just um, overall for the VPN industry so far. We don't see any kill switches, whether application or network kill switch. Not only that, but we don't see any port customization, any proxy support for added proxy integration here. We don't see any script support. We don't have any integrated servers or streaming IPs or dedicated IPs. We don't really have the ability to add advanced obfuscation techniques um, with stuff like Stunnel, Stealth VPN. We don't really see any IP leak or WebRTC leak protection, but it could just be within the application itself. It doesn't look like there's any ad blocking features, but Malwarebytes itself as a suite might have that kind of integrated within their platform. Um, we don't see any split tunneling, which would be cool. So you could use Malwarebytes for certain apps and not other ones. I would like to see that integrated. Um, and of course, some of the server basic stuff is limited for how you can view information or customize the layout of the presentation of the servers. If, for example, locating um, servers by your smart lo connection or, you know, organizing servers by load or alphabetical, stuff like that. Anyways, guys, that's a ba basic rundown of the application. Now, I do like its look and feel. I like the wire guard. It's easy to use, easy to set up. It does get some good points for that. However, it's definitely lacking customization when compared to other VPN providers. So let's go ahead and stop with the nonsense and move on to the speed test. I'm actually looking forward to some pretty impressive speeds here, especially since it's using WireGuard. Okay guys, let's go ahead and test out that speed right now. Let's see what we can get here. Wow, that's a really fast ping. So 12 ping is very good. Usually I'm around like 19 MS without VPN. Download rate without VPN is around a gig. Uh, upload is 40 megabits per second. Um, so this is not the best speed test per se. Um, we'll have to see what we can get with the results of downloading torrent files. This is pretty much un, um, unchanged from my real world um, without VPN speeds for upload. So let's go ahead and test a download file. Okay guys, so we didn't get the most impressive speed test so far. Um, I wonder if this is even gonna work. Sometimes these new VPN providers, sometimes specialty VPN providers, they won't let you download content. I hope that's not the case because that would be very disappointing. I might have to try a different server. I also kind of wanted to try another server for the speed test as well. Um, doesn't look like this torrent file is going to work. Let's go ahead and disconnect and then we could try a different server. Hopefully that works. So guys, unfortunately, it looks like Malwarebytes does not work with torrenting yet. Um, maybe future they can implement less restrictions on P2P activity. Um, some VPN providers exclusively block this kind of activity. They don't want to be used for these kind of things. Who knows? Maybe that's the case for Malwarebytes. Not really sure there. Um, definitely disappointing though. I was looking forward to getting more speed tests. We can go ahead and test out this LA server. Um, see what kind of speeds we can get there. Hopefully some better speed results. Otherwise, I can't give Malwarebytes that good of speed results. Especially because I can't get that speed test for downloading. 
usually that's kind of like the primary, the last chance to get a good rating for the speeds. Um, looks like the speed test isn't loading. Let's try doing that again. So honestly, guys, these speeds aren't that great either. Not really sure what's going on with malware by the speeds. Unfortunately, nothing here that I've seen really wows me. It's too bad. Talking a little bit about Malwarebytes and uh, in terms of this reputation, apparently their VPN service does not retain or log any data related to web traffic, DNS requests, IP addresses, or bandwidth or network connections. That's very good to see. Um, and we could look a little bit more information here. So I really do like this privacy policy. It's very transparent with the kind of stuff that is going on behind the scenes. It talks about how Malwarebytes privacy generates a cryptographic public private key pair, explains the reason why, and it does not collect any of this stuff here. So in terms of reputation, very good. I already trusted Malwarebytes as a malware scanner device. It's one of my top products I recommend people to use. I'm very happy with them for a number of years. Looks like they're carrying the same kind of transparency, good reputation here into their VPN product. A very solid, very solid. Let's go ahead and test out streaming. Maybe that will give me some more stuff to uh, be excited about. Surprisingly, Malwarebytes does seem to be working with Netflix. Really nice. Another thing I actually like about Malwarebytes, not super related, it just kind of stays here. It makes it easy for me to keep it just up while testing. I like how it doesn't hide away. It's just kind of a nice little thing here. Maybe you want to hide it. Um, I think you can, how do you hide it? Can you hide it? Um, close? There we go. So I just got to close. I, if you just click on the X, I guess it close. That makes sense. Maybe maybe they should implement a minimize button though. That would make a little bit more sense, I think. It looks like Hulu did detect Malwarebytes. That's definitely a bummer, but it works with Netflix. Let's try and Prime Video. So um, it does look like to be working with Prime Video. So Netflix, Prime Video, not Hulu. Let's try BBC iPlayer just out of curiosity. One nice thing about Malwarebytes is it's very easy to switch servers. You just go switch server, pick the server, and it almost switches instantly. So that's a perk of WireGuard, I've seen that before, but very nice in terms of that interface and functionality for sure. So I'm trying to test it out with BBC iPlayer, but... All right guys, so I switched to the UK Manchester server and that for some reason worked, whereas the other one wasn't. Um, the other one was just like too laggy. I don't know why that server was slower. Maybe more people are using it. Overall though, actually three out of four services work with this, which is really impressive for a brand new VPN provider Overall, job well done. So guys, unfortunately, Malwarebytes does not have a live chat support team. This is kind of more common with these bigger kind of security suite teams, you know, AKA antivirus going into VPN market. So it's not surprising to see live chat, but I can't give them full points for not including it because a lot of VPN specific companies do have more live chat options. Um, overall though, I've talked about uh, Malwarebytes support before as well as their team, and it's pretty solid in terms of that support. Just, it is disappointing not to see live chat. So guys, we have finished the Malwarebytes VPN or Malwarebytes privacy review. What is the final score? Well, it's gonna get a decent tier two score. It's definitely a pretty solid start for this company to move into the VPN space. There are some really cool things about it that are very unique. Um, take for example, the fact that it uses WireGuard for its application. That's very nice. Overall, the application, I don't have many complaints with it besides it lacking customization features and security and settings features that we see with more full-fledged, mature VPN applications. The pricing model also needs some work with offering month-to-month -month or six-month plans, although the yearly price is an okay deal. Speeds here are hard to test because I couldn't get it working with torrenting for one, and the speeds themselves do kind of seem to be slower than normal for a decent amount of the servers. Hopefully they can improve the speeds, add more servers, and I could retest it later and get better results, especially if they add support for torrenting. However, maybe this company doesn't want people torrenting with this VPN, which is which would be disappointing because that's one of the main reasons people use VPN. In terms of reputation, however, I was very satisfied to see a very good no logs policy, a very transparently laid out privacy policy detailing what they do um, with the service and what is going on behind the scenes while not collecting any logs, IP, DNS requests and stuff like that. Very solid job here and I like this company in the past. I've been using some of their products to um, and I've never really seen anything bad about them. In terms of support here, they do have a good support team, but there's no live chat options, which is disappointing. And streaming surprisingly actually worked with three out of the four mainstream services, which is very good. So overall, it does some things pretty close to excellent. Um, across the board, going into three to four area with a good reputation overall. 
Malwarebytes VPN could be extremely high rated in the future, especially if it keeps making some really good improvements. Right now, I think it's kind of in the beta phase, but people are buying it and using it, so I'm reviewing it as such. Overall, a very good product so far, and I can't wait to see more improvements in the future. If you guys want to check out this product, go ahead and click on the link down in the description down below. If you want to pick a higher tier rated VPN, go ahead and check out the tier list. And I'll see you again on the next video very soon.